Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can feed your pet so much that it eventually eats all of humanity. It's Tasty Planet Forever. Alright, we may be starting out as like a sad molecule of a cat, but we're gonna be moving through a lot of animals real fast. And of course, we're gonna have to end up with the most ridiculous one. I'm not stopping until I can eat the entire planet. For real, we're starting off at a right around two centimeters, and there is more life on this floor than in like a science experiment petri dish. Also, I do love how the cat's eyes kind of oogle whatever he's about to consume, which is now finally meat, otherwise known as these cockroaches here. Whoever owns this area should be happy that someone is cleaning up. It's just that someone is a cat that's eventually going to murder them. We both know that there's no way that all of humanity is not going to get eaten by this cat. As a matter of fact, I think that's the purpose of this cat being grown in the first place. Now his eyes are big enough to the point where you can watch them. Look at him. <laughs> I love how they kind of scurry back and forth. You saw the mouse coming. He's like, oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to lie. I love croissants, and the fact that I cannot yet eat this croissant pains me greatly. I don't like peas, even though they're very high in fiber. As a matter of, oh, God. I'll remember that. No, seriously, I'm going to remember that. I'm already five centimeters long. It's not going to be too much further from now at the point when I'm devouring your entire rodent family, which I guess is something normal that a cat would do anyway, so it's not really unusual or anything. But considering... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, now who's running? Yeah, now who's running? Yeah, I don't think so. Six centimeters. If we're not a mile long, it's not big enough yet. Oh, I can finally get drunk as a cat. That is fantastic. There's a whole bottle of wine right here with my name on it. I'm a French cat, you see. I don't even drink the liquid in the bottle. I just consume the entire bottle and my stomach juices break down the glass and then I get drunk on whatever's left. I, I still can't eat these, these croissants. It's killing me. I want carbs. Not peas. There's no peas anymore. I ate them all. I'm curious if knives are high in fiber. Also, why do these mice sound like blue jays? How come you could eat the knives before you could eat the croissants? I don't want a diet that consists of sharp death inst- Actually, you know what? Maybe I do. That's what we're going for anyway. Chef's knife. Oh, now I, now I can have the croissant. Yeah, sure. I love how no one's even running anymore. They're like, this is inevitable. We're just going to let it happen. Imagine this cat just starts projectile vomiting the 10,000 blades he's been devouring. It's like scarier than some kind of D&D creature. Ah, look at that. You see that right there? Human beings. You know what they're not doing? Cleaning the floor. Me eating you does nothing negative for this entire restaurant. I assume this is a restaurant. Yeah, I can see him serving nothing to anyone. See this lady? Look at her. She's sitting here. Do you know what she's eating? Nothing. Because all the food is on the floor. She doesn't even have to pay anything. She could literally just crawl around and pick up 35 bottles of wine chilling out on the floor. Now she's not going to have anything because I'm the one eating all of the wine. I said, well, eating, drinking, well, partly drinking. I'm eating the glass and drinking the wine. I am going to literally be a Godzilla cat. Like it's going to be scary. I'm going to be a Mecha Godzilla cat because effectively I'm going to have so much metal in my body. It's going to change the very fabric of the creature I am. What are your, what are your job description? Oh my God. Well, I guess I can ask him now. I was gonna say, what is your job description? Because I haven't seen any of you do anything. If I just stand here, will you walk into my mouth? And then I don't have to do anything. Oh, here we go. Yep, look at that. Don't have to do it. Oh, here we go. It's a conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt of human meat. That's what this is. I don't need to work at all. I just have to wait for them to not do their job and then come up here by the burners that they're not using to cook anything and then die. Well, I think I've killed everyone on this side. Where's your manager at? I want to speak to your manager. Not because I have something good to tell him, because I'm hungry and I want to eat him. That's how we deal with problems in Catland. We just eat them. Can I eat this lady yet? It's not like she's getting served anything. Right? Well, I have to kill all the waiters first, apparently. Oh, I have to eat the chairs first. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is simply delectable. See, when you when you eat the customer, you get a free chair as well to devour. All right, I can't eat the tables yet, unfortunately. Oh man, these chairs. What is this? Uh, is this a, is this you? 
Is this a, uh, is this, is this pine? Tastes kind of like pine. There are so many human beings to eat. Oh, I just ate a street lamb. I mean, was it not plugged in? Oh, hold on. That guy right there was helping the environment. So I had to go ahead and end him. Because this environment is not going to last much longer with me around. Like, there's literally not going to be anything in the environment, I should say. Like, these trees here? Bam. Oh, it's a bush. Thought it was a tree. I'm sure I'll be eating full trees in no time. Give me that light, too. You guys don't need light to see anymore. You're going to be sitting in the bottom of my stomach. I love how some people scream more convincingly than others. Like, some people are just like, ah, oh, ooh. Some people make it sound like this is really a travesty that they're getting eaten by, a, you know, a two-meter-long cat. Can't eat a car yet. That's unfortunate. Yeah, all the street lights belong to me. I'm gonna be like the electro cat. I'm gonna have special X-Man powers from all the electricity I've got coursing through my body. I think I'm getting close to eating a car. Maybe if it was a compact car, I could have eaten it by now. All these cars are gonna crash in. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now, can I just stand in the middle of the road? <laughs> Hold on. Does it hit me? Oh, no. I just eat it with my rib cage. Look. This <laughs> just goes to the side of the ribs. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that's a double. Right there. Two. Look at this. Double fisting cars. How about that? Two for one, baby. Yep. Trees are going now. All right, we are now six meters in size. Again, not not close to a mile yet, so it's not good enough. For, you know, I'll take a kilometer. How about a kilometer? Since we're in Paris or whatever. I am now many, many times larger than cars. I am 10 meters long. What are the what are these things over here? Is this just like the uh, like the commercial district? Are these buildings? It just looks so plain. I can't really tell. I've been on a vegetarian kick for so oh, never mind. There we go. I was gonna say I've been on a vegetarian kick for so long eating trees. So when I eat when I eat an entire building, do I get all the people inside too? Like is that where I'm getting my protein from how hard is it to pass concrete i feel like that's something that i should tell my doctor that i've been consuming is literally concrete oh wow we are uh we are just we are eating entire blocks at this point i am 26 meters long 29 meters long the meters of length are growing much faster than i had previously 37 much faster than i had previously anticipated there's some buildings I can't eat yet. Never mind. I can eat all the buildings now. I'm eating entire chunks of buildings. Look at that. That was like that was like eight buildings all together. 60 meters. Oh god. Yep, just just go ahead. Just clean up the entire city. We're not gonna have to worry about any kind of taxes for mate for like beautification because there's what? not going to be anything. What did I just eat? What was that? Was that a bridge? Yep, that is a full bridge connecting the two sides of of Paris together. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish there was like a death counter. Like I assume we could just say it's the score. You know, you've murdered like 30,000 people so far. Actually, hold on, one building, how many people? Eight, one. So that was only seven people, for instance, in that building. I don't know, maybe it's like a, maybe it's early on a Sunday or something and there's just not that many people. Let me get rid of all the bridges. No one gets to leave. Was that a good, oh, that was the Eiffel Tower. I didn't realize how unreasonably large I had become. And that that was the Eiffel Tower. Oh, now we're eating literal city blocks. They're just called city blocks. I thought that was a gazebo. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower's looking at me sideways. It's like a gazebo gray. Really? Look, man. I don't even have to jump across the water. I just wade through it. This is how my cat gets a bath now. He bathes inside of the canals of Paris. We are 400 meters. 500 meters. 500, 600 meters. Neighborhood. We're eating full neighborhoods now. It's not even called city block. Like, right over here. You might have a good friend that lives in that neighborhood. Gone. Right there. How many points is that worth? 54 points in a neighborhood. That actually sounds kind of realistic. Like, if you figure there's three, two or three people to a house or something, 
There's like 20 houses there. Oh yeah, 30 and 29 points per neighborhood. There's no more neighborhoods left. <laughs> Evolution in this game is 10 out of 10. So we've evolved from a cat into a dingo and we're small again. Sad dingo, 1.74 centimeters. Now fortunately, he's already begun eating living beings. So it's kind of like training, right? Because you figure they they always end up eating people. No matter no matter where you go, no matter what animal you pick, you will inevitably eat humans. Why? Because this game has taught me that human beings are delicious. It's the one thing I've learned from this. Now we are gaining size fairly quickly here. I'm already on beetles and I'm almost four centimeters in size, which is good. I really want to change of scenery because the ground is so boring. It's just very, very Floridian. It could use some additional colors. It's kind of like I'm just walking across a piece of old meatloaf. Sorry, Gecko. That's an angry frog. That frog is not letting me go. He really wants a piece of me. Okay, I can now eat mice. Just entire mice. Even though they're basically larger than I am, it doesn't matter. They get instantly digested. My colon must be the strongest muscle in my body. No joke. Okay, now I'm getting tag teamed by frogs. Don't like that. Hey! You guys can't work together. Stop that. It's illegal. It's against the rules. If this city had a rat problem, they don't really have it anymore. There's not many left. Well, I guess it's not really a rat. It's a <laughs> Lanagale or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's that word. I would ask Google what it means, but I'm getting murdered by frogs. You f oh, here we go. Yeah, or am I? You know what you cane toads taste like? Revenge. Come here. All you cane toads grew up bullying me and my people. Now you're all gonna go extinct. Well, technically everything on this planet is going to go extinct, but y'all in particular, as well as that rabbit, are not long for this world. Listen, I didn't really have anything against the rabbit. It kind of got in the way, but now that I've had a taste for rabbit, I want to keep eating them. Very addictive. They're very spicy rabbits. They're like the chipotle of uh, of animals. Oh wow! What the? I don't. That was an amazing sound. Hold on, what did I just eat? It's like a yak or something? A feral goat! Oh, I've decided to finally get some vegetables into my system. Like mo- Oh, alright, well vegetables and this fence! Can't wait to pass this out my rectum. And these sheep. Listen, lamb can be very expensive. As can the sweet flesh of kangaroo! Oh, walking hamburgers. Can't wait until I can eat you. It's gonna be a minute. I've gotta eat a few more kangaroos. Is that the sound that kangaroos make? That is the most uncute sound I think I've ever heard. Whenever I've seen a kangaroo, I want to hug it. And now I want to run in fear of it. All right, all the fences. Gotta make sure to uh, wash down the sad wildlife I've been eating with fencing. There we go. Perfect. Fencing. Sheep. All of the cows. And this tree. And this tree. And this tractor! <laughs> I can't believe I have not eaten one single human yet. What is going on? Oh, I just ate a shack. Now, there may have been a human inside of that shack. I really don't know. I mean, obviously, there's someone inside of the truck. Well, I believe there would be. I guess we'll never know. The tank is shooting at me! Hey! Stop defending yourself. I don't like that. Come here. Yeah. You, you want to keep shooting at me? Do you think because you have armor on, that means anything? I'm gonna keep eating all of your defenseless friends, too. All the, we don't even know what these crops are of. It doesn't matter, though, they taste delicious. They're also high in fiber. I'm also 12 meters in size right now. Well, I'm just, I'm not even eating like a crop. I'm double fisting the crops at this point, like five crops at a time. Oh, now the entire crop bill. Oh, it's the house! Like a family of four chilling out inside the house. They're gone. Like, I could maybe say that the uh, tanks could be remote controlled, possibly, or something. Almost like drone tanks. But probably not the house. Probably not the residential house. There's just like a normal person in there. Well, there was. Right, what am I missing here? There's, there's no place left to live. I've evolved from a dingo directly into a bee. You see, they are... Of course, related. <laughs> you can see my happy bee over here eating pollen, even though it kind of looks like delicious chicken nuggets. This is why you should never feed your bees McDonald's. Now, right now, my bee is not carnivorous, okay? Actually, I don't know if any bees are really carnivorous. They, they may just go after stuff for protective sake. I don't really know if they go after everything to murder it and then eat its flesh. Now, we are going to, obviously, all wildlife in this game exists 
to eat other wildlife like that. Oh, come here. Yeah, gnat. We're almost at five millimeters. Five millimeters, right there. And once your bee gets large enough that it begins to take up most of the screen, that means it's time to pull on back. Which I'm surprised isn't really happening yet. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, when you start, ah, oh, it's a whole hummingbird. The thing that's particularly funny to me is it's a hummingbird, but it sounds like a nuclear engine kind of powering up. It's like some sort of spaceship flying around. They're probably not really hummingbirds. They're just aliens vaguely shaped like hummingbirds. That's why I'm going to have to murder all of them. If I didn't do it, they'd end up taking over the planet somehow, just like Invincible's dad tried to do. And you're just a multicolored Viltrumite, aren't you? Like the Omni-Man of avian creatures. Come here, bees. You're doing a, you're doing your civic duty over here, dying to make me slightly larger so that I can eat these things. There we go. Oh yeah. Several centimeters long now. I'm always curious to see exactly how stupid the creatures can get. Okay, now I'm just eating the entire plant. Why eat the, the pollen when you could just chew on the whole flower? There we go. Yeah, it's very floral tasting. Now at some point, obviously, dining on birds and flowers isn't enough. You have to begin eating people, but first I guess I'll chew on this cardinal. <laughs> I hear something else. Is that a drone? I hear like a drone or something. Oh, I'm, oh, apples. All right, well, those are healthy. There's, a, there's like 30 drones in this area. You know, some sort of like drone laws where you're not supposed to fly a drone, you know, within 12 inches of another drone. These drones are right on top of one another. Look at all this. Ow, God. Drones are trying to murder all these birds. I need to eat these birds. Stop trying to run all the birds over. I feel like drones aren't necessarily packed full of vitamins, but I'm gonna eat those anyway. If it can fit in my mouth, it's getting eaten. There we go. Oh yeah, that can't be healthy. I'm gonna be defecating blades and circuit boards. That sounds terrible. On the plus side, I am really cleaning up the sky. I'm surprised there's any birds left that wanna fly around here. They've been watching all their brethren get gobbled up by like a giant mutated floppy-eyed bee. My bee looks drunk. So I think you're beekeeping huts. You know how you kept me around and made money off of me? Yeah, you're gonna be regretting that in a minute. Oh, it's an entire eagle. That has got to be a felony if I eat the eagle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably endangered or protected or something, but the bee does not care. Ah, give me them drumsticks. Up oh, now it's time to eat all these and the bushes and probably the people! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Humankind is not long for this world. Get over here. I just pulled someone off of their balcony. Oh, wow. There's gonna be a lot of people going missing inside of this neighborhood. I wanna be able to eat a helicopter, I can't wait. Well, and I'd like to eat an entire Subaru Outback or something as well. If someone's heard a Camry gets shoved down my bee throat. That guy was like, A! No, B! Ah, there we are! That's right, you'll pollute the atmosphere no longer! You can't pollute anything when you're dead. Yeah! Oh, there's a, an entire, like, fighter plane. The old World War II aircraft or something. Gotta eat all the ultralight aircrafts. I'm surprised they're not shooting at me. Considering, I think I've been, like, responsible for 300 deaths at this point. I am now four meters. I am a four me Oh, there we go! World War II fighter plane! It is legitimately a fighter plane! I'm eating entire trees. The deciduous trees. All belong to me. All the cars, all the ultralight aircrafts, the World War II fight. Where's, where's bigger planes? Like a Chinook. There we go. That's yeah, exactly what I was looking for. Planes, helicopters. I get like a large boat or something. Oh, the, there's the coniferous trees. We're going through all the different species of plant. There's the tandem rotor helicopters. We are now tw 12 meters in size. It is very concerning. I'm surprised that everyone is still driving so placidly. You notice no one's breaking the speed limit or anything? They just get eaten by the giant bee and they just let this happen. All right, larger trees, all those are gone now. Pretty soon I'm gonna be eating the buildings, no joke. I can hear like an airliner or something. There it is, yes, airliners. Hold on, 
We've got things to do. We've eaten so many tandem rotor uh, helicopters at this point. These buildings gotta be edible at some point. Oh, here we go, there we go. All the rest of the trees. Oh, you can headbutt the planes. <laughs> I mean, it goes, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I almost made the plane go upside down. Oh, can you make a dive bomb the ground? Hold on. Come on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, try and land it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? You trying to get home? <laughs> yeah, the flight's been delayed because a maniac be- Ooh! A maniac bee decided to make sure that the plane crashed into the earth. That is hot. 34 meters. Oh, hold on. Yeah! Can eat the jumbo jets now. 37 meters. I can't eat the skyscrapers yet, but I feel like we're definitely getting there. Never mind, I can eat the skyscrapers now. Sweet. All right, 63, 67, 68, 60, 93. That was a quick jump. 98, 112. Oh my God, I just ate a hill. It's not even called anything particularly amazing. It's just an entire hill. Pretty soon I'm going to be eating countryside. It's going to be called countryside. No big deal. 100, 170, oh, I'm sorry, 196 meters. All the hills, 243 meters. We're almost at a kilometer, which is pretty good. Do I eventually get to eat the crust of the earth? Because I can see it sitting there and it is very, very appetizing. I would love nothing more than to just suddenly begin dining on the crust of the earth. It's called the crust after all, it should be edible. Oh, I thought that was background buildings. Nope, <laughs> it's just edible, but just entire cityscapes. No problem, totally edible. Uh, I'm running out of stuff to eat. Oh, never mind. There's more stuff to eat now. Okay, they've got like Mount Fuji over here. That is fantastic. Keep eating. Uh huh. That was a mountain. Just stayed a mountain. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of mountains. No, I'm over five kilometers in size. Now I'm eating. Is that an island? Yep, whole island. Might as well suck up the seas while I'm doing I can't believe I could just like, you know, fly right on the water. I don't know how well bees swim. This bee does a great job though. 15 kilometers in size. Uh, I'm running out of humanity. I think I've eaten most of it. I'm pretty sure I may have just picked up Japan or something into my mouth. That's gone now. 51 kilometers. Oh my God, 105 kilometers in size. 133. This is getting out of hand. I didn't actually think it would get quite this big. <laughs> this is amazing. 233 kilometers, yes, 300, 400 kilometers. Oh my God, I'm just eating the continents. I'm 200, 2 point, or hold on, 3.33 megameters. There goes the moon, there goes the earth. I mean all the planet. <laughs> I started out as a B, but the alphabet doesn't matter because I ate it all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode of Tasty Planet forever. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.